okay, so. One, two, three, one, two, three. Hi, Hi we're Kagul and you're, you're watching Forge, Forge TV. TV. and Benji and we're at Outlines Festival with Kagoo. Hi. Hello there. Hello. How, uh, how are you feeling about doing the festival? Uh, yeah, really good. We've um, we played tram lines for like the past few years I think, by the same people and yeah man it should be really good. So you're playing the Harley so have you heard much about the Harley? Do you know? Yeah I do really good burgers. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard you're a fan of burgers. We do. <laughs> that's we, a we're, thing. We're, a fan of, we're a fan of being fed for free. Oh, mostly, right. Yeah. So. That's the only reason we're in this. Are you, yeah. get, are you getting a free meal out of it? Um, we'll even if we don't, we'll make sure that we... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll raid the kitchen. Um, no, yeah, we've played there a few times before, and every show we've had there has been like, really wicked. I think we've, had, we've never really had a, a bad show in Sheffield. They've always been really awesome. So, yeah, really excited for it. You recently, kind of earlier on this week, you dropped a new track. Didn't you? Oh yeah. Yeah, pharmacy. So, what's the reaction to that been like? It's been good. Yeah, pretty I mean, good so far. Yeah, I haven't had any. Nobody's told us that they think anything bad about it, <laughs> but I just don't think we've heard anything bad. There's probably some people who hate it, but yeah, we've only heard the good stuff. So it's quite different to the our album released uh, late last year. Um, but yeah, I'd say it's it's more like um, more my music taste, the kind of stuff I listen to. Kind of going back to I know like everything. Kind of do is always a bit like early nineties rock, but <laughs> even more early nineties <laughs> rock. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, we like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah good. It's good. It's right. Cool. Um, yeah, super, super happy with it. And it was a really fun experience recording it. Had like no time to do it, which kind of worked in our favour because when you have normally so quite uh, we we mess about quite a lot, but we were like, oh crap, we've only got like four hours to do it. Hurry up! And then we actually managed to do it, and it was quite impressive. I thought we'd. Uh, end up getting home at like 6am the next day. We've read interviews where you've talked about like, you don't like to talk about mundane, mundane things in your songs, but they're so abstract. No, I think it's, it's nice if I was to tell you what some of the songs are about, it's pretty like, pretty, pretty mundane, some of them, you know, oh, right. but you just, it's the way you go about writing about it and like yeah, yeah. something that could be written about, like a lot of songs that, you know, about stuff like, I don't know, moving out for the first time or yeah. something like that. It's really easy to just write lyrics. You recently do a tour in this, when did you do a tour in the States then? In September last year. Yeah, we went to New York and did some shows oh, right. some shows there just before we went and did our Europe tour. So, so what was that like going over to the States? Is it quite different to Europe? It was crazy. crazy. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was good. It was literally, it's exactly like being in a film. We did uh, in one place that we played, we had to have big X's drawn on our hands because we're not 21. Yeah, straight, <laughs> we're straight 20, edge, man. So oh, we, um, yeah, yeah, we had like big like straight edge X's drawn on by the bouncer <laughs> and it was really funny. So you're on um, Earache le- Records? Yes. So they're a Nottingham based um, label? Yeah, yeah well, it's, quite it's Nottingham and New York and that's oh, why that's why yeah. we got to go to New York. <laughs> Conveniently, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> send us out there again, yeah. <laughs> we want to go there. Yeah. Um, so what's, like how's, what's it like being with them? Is like, an independent label yeah so it's like an independent label but I'd say they're a bit um, they're quite well established you know they've been doing it for like a long time selling like well metal really, yeah. Like, yeah. which is which I don't know is maybe quite there's a, like a huge market for it but it's yeah. quite a hard thing to sell as, as a record and you know I think they were just kind of branching out recently and um, yeah and took us on and I think because they um spent so long trying to sell metal to everyone as soon as they tried to sell something else it's actually oh wait you're actually pretty good at this is it it's quite easy i don't know but yeah it's like it's working out working out well and it's cool so are you going to be catching anyone that outlines them today uh skinny girl diet i'm looking forward to seeing them i hope i haven't missed them i yeah, don't I actually know they're when they're on, on. They're on just for you, I think. oh good that's In fine the then yeah i'm looking forward to seeing them um our mate oscar is playing uh queen's social thing here yeah at six which would be wicked and yeah we'll stick around for uh spring king yeah i really yeah, really like spring king we were gonna see um a band called the big moon but they actually pulled out because of illness yeah. yesterday yeah. so that's really disappointing hope you get guys well get soon. better soon yeah. Yeah, yeah uh well good luck with the show later on thank, thank you very you. much yeah, good luck. We'll be there at the we'll be in the awesome see you then yeah, it's gonna be rocking yeah, it's gonna be crazy bones thank you